Okay, so we are going to demonstrate how do you uh, attach a MIDI file to uh, play when a registration is selected such that the MIDI file automatically starts to play and you have the ability to change voices on your keyboard with your foot pedal. So uh, we're going to first going to make some changes to the menus. Let's see, the first one that we're going to change, we're going to go into menu, we're going to go into foot switch and we're going to assign um, two foot switches. So I'm going to assign goalie to the end. I'm going to assign one to foot switch two, and I'm going to assign another one to foot switch three. You'll say voice select. So what we're doing is we're selecting one of the five variations that are in the registration menu. Okay, so that's one setting you have to change. Second setting is you have to go into registration setup Go down to play mode, and you want to make sure player autoplay is turned on. This is what starts the MIDI file to play automatically when you select a registration. Okay, then we're going to go ahead in, and we're going to, uh, we're just going to select any, I'm just going to select anything. So I'll just take this and load it so I have something loaded. And then I'm going to just save that registration. Um, Save as, uh, let's call that, let's call that MIDI test one. Okay, and then I guess we should have assigned instruments, so we'll, let's go back and look at that again. And we're going to assign, on pedal two, we're going to assign a trumpet, and on voice three, we're going to assign a, let's go ahead and just do a uh, piano. So we'll do a jazz piano. Okay, so now if I press my pedals, uh, they should go, let's see, back and forth. So you'll see. So my pedals now are changing my voices. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and resave that one more time, make sure that we have that. Okay, so we've made, we've made the changes to the menus and the, um, the, uh, the foot switch and the autoplay preferences. We've created a registration. We have um, added two voices for um, voice two and voice three. I think all that's left now is to attach the MIDI file. So we're gonna go ahead and with the registration loaded, we're going to press the media button. Go find your MIDI file that you want to use, right? And select it, get it to play, press stop, and then um, uh, save. You'll say registration and say, yes, yeah, save that. Uh, we're going to save it right on the current one. It says, do you want to replace? Okay, so now what we've done is we've taken this file, this MIDI file, and um, whether it's karaoke or MIDI, it's the same thing. And we've linked it now to the registration. So when I select the registration, that MIDI file should start to play. And then those piano, the piano and trumpet voices should be active for me with the foot pedals. So let's see. Press the registration button. Let's just pick something else. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and find, uh, let's see, we called it MIDI test. There it is right there. So I'm going to select it. And let's see if it starts to play. There you hear the trumpet. So you see. And that's how it's done. So remember that, uh, you know, if you uh, want to play the uh, intro with one instrument, then you'll just, uh, when the MIDI file starts, you'll have that instrument selected and you'll play it. And when the intro of the MIDI file is over, then you'll, you know, press the foot switch, switch to, the, uh, to another uh, instrument that you've defined in the uh, registration and, uh, and continue on. So that's the solution uh, to be able to play uh, different instruments while the MIDI file is uh, running in background. Hey, and also remember, uh, 
Hey, and also remember uh, uh, one thing. In your, if you press menu and you go into preferences, there's an option called uh, single player, style player, single or mix. Uh, the example that I gave is with style player single. So when you switch modes on the SD90 from the style uh, engine to the player engine, it's either one or the other. Uh, they can't play both at the same time. If yours is set to mix, that means that both the style and the player could play at the same time. Um, then what you would need to do is clear out the style that you're using um, for the uh, registration um, with that MIDI file, or you'll hear both the style in the background and the MIDI file uh, play at the same time. So if you don't use any of those features, go ahead and leave style and player to single, and then um, you won't have to worry about it.